Hello everyone, this is Trivial Turtle and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Now, today we're going to be looking at audio and what commentators should be using for their audio. Now, if you're using high-end microphones and you're using high-end materials and stuff, then this tutorial isn't really for you. But if you're starting out as a commentator or as a YouTube creator of sorts and you're using a USB microphone, then this is really the software you should be using. It's completely free, which is really nice as well. So you can use this on PC and Mac, it, the installation really isn't different either, uh, none of the options are different, both versions are pretty much identical. So first thing we want to do is just head over to Google. Once you're there, just copy the link that I put in the description. If the link does not work, then just type in Audacity on Google and I'm sure you'll find it. Now click whatever platform you're on, I am on the Mac. And then you want to click on the top option. Now, zip file is a viable option for PC or Mac, but the install is a little bit, a little, just a, a little tiny smidge more, more um, confusing. Not confusing, but complicated. This, the top one is just extremely simple and for double the size as well. So if you if you're carrying about space, then certainly go for the zip folder. Once your download is complete. Close down Chrome or whatever browser you're using and if you're on a Mac, double click the DMG. Now this will open the mounted disk which is up here which just requires me to click drag the Audacity into applications. Done. Installation complete. Now you want to wait for the installation to finish before you eject the disk. Finished. Now inject that and move that to trash. Now once you've done that, all you need to do is go to your applications, go Audacity, and double click Audacity. Now if you're doing this a lot, open, if you're, do, if you're going to be using this program a lot, then I would certainly suggest keep it in a dock and keep it on your desktop if you're on Windows because it's just an extremely helpful piece of software. Now. I am using Parallels to record this current commentary, but if you're not using Parallels, which you're probably not, um, then you need to change your built-in microphone, which is going to be here, to the current microphone you're using. Now, on this drop-down list, um, for me, Blue Snowball would be right here. And if it is, then just click it. If it's not, and you've plugged in your microphone after the fact, then you need to plug in your microphone, turn off and Audacity, so quit out of Audacity and then reload Audacity and it should show up in this box. Now, a few important things to note. If you go up to Preferences, um, on Windows you have to go down to Edit, go down to the bottom to go to Preferences. On a Mac, it's on Audacity, go to Preferences. Everything here, you really should be leaving alone, um, except for this. Now, sampling is all about your computer and it will usually do this automatically. If not, you need to match the number on the right hand side. Now that's already done it for me, but sometimes it will be, it, this will say um, 48,000. And if it says 48,000, you need to change it to 48,000 because you need the best, the best quality you can get. So that's pretty much it. Like everything else in preferences is, is the same. So what do you do when you start recording? Now, if you're using a USB microphone and a decent one of that, you need to be sorting out your recording volume because at the end of the day, you don't want you don't want it on max. You don't want it picking up everything and all the little crackles and all of that. So if you're really close to your microphone, like I currently am, you need to bring it down to around 70 and you'll get a nice range in your voice without cutting anything out. Now, if you're a little bit further away from your microphone, like out here, then you need to bring it to 80. Now, if you've got it up to 100 or 1.0, then you need to be way close to your microphone. There's no need for you to be having it at one at all. So for me, I like to keep it in the middle because sometimes, sometimes when I'm playing games and stuff, I like to go out here, back in, out here, back in. That did not intentionally sound rude in my head. Um, so once you've done that, you want to just hit the record button. Now, while you're recording things, 
you need to make sure that you leave a gap somewhere in this. So unlike I've just done, so let me just pause that and get rid of that. You need to leave about a five or six second gap before you start talking. So let's do that now. Hello, this is Trivial Tool, and this is the test footage for the Audacity tutorial. And then click stop to finish it. So as you can see, I've got a little gap down here now, and you're probably wondering why, Dylan? So once you finish actually recording your footage and you've clicked stop, you're ready. You're like, what do I do now? Now the first thing you do is noise removal. Now you won't be able to hear it when I play this back, but there is noise. You will not be able to hear that, but if you turn your volume up enough on your own footage, you will certainly be able to hear that, and you'll be able to hear it a little bit behind your voice as well, especially when there's quiet bits in games or quiet bits in your content. Now, how do you get rid of that? Now, you need to highlight the first five seconds of your video. I like to leave out the first little bit because of clicks and shuffling around while you're being quiet. So, I usually leave about a nine second gap just to be safe. Um, but even if you don't leave a gap, you can usually find a gap in your footage. So once you find your gap, go to Effect, and then go down to Noise Removal. Now once you're on Noise Removal, just click Get Noise. And then it's analysed this section for you. And then what you want to do is when you select the whole thing. Now without it being a pain in the arse, all you have to do is Control A to select all. Or if you're on a Mac like me, Command A. Now you've selected all of it. Now go back to Effect back to noise removal and then click don't move you don't need to change any of this at all unless you're a little whiz and you need a very specific sound but you should just leave this as it is and then you just click OK and it's done it it's done it really quickly only because it's like an 11 second snippet of audio but usually it does it quite quickly anyway so you don't have to worry about that now there won't be any noise in this so we won't be able to notice it so I'm not going to bother I'm not going to bother um, showing you right now, but let's listen to it for the next effect. Hello, this is Trivial Tool, and this is the test footage for the Audacity tutorial. So as you could hear there, that is the test footage. It sounds a little bit, it, sa it sounds bad, but that is because it's on a built-in microphone for a start. And secondly, because it hasn't got any other effects. So let's start. There's only two more effects we need to do. So the first one is compress it. So we need to compress this, again leave all the settings as, a, as they are, just click OK. Now that's made all the peaks higher and the lows lower. So let's hear that again. Hello, this is Trivial Tool and this is the test footage for the Audacity tutorial. So as you heard there, all it does is bring out all the compliments in your voice and all the little depths. Just makes it a little bit more deeper, not bass wise, but it just, it fills it out a bit more. So the next thing you want to do is go to effect again and go to bass and treble. Now, if you have a little bit of a high voice, I'd suggest putting this up to six, um, but I have a semi low voice, so I'm gonna shove this on four, and then you just click okay again, and then it should be based out. Hello, this is Trivial Tool, and this is the test footage for the Audacity tutorial. Now you probably can't even hear much of a difference there, but if you put two videos together, with one with no effects whatsoever, one with effects, then it would sound very different. Now obviously, this is just using a built-in microphone, and I could hear a difference straight away with just a built-in microphone. So using your USB microphone, there's a hell of a lot of difference there. So once you've done that, you need to get rid of the first bit of your footage. So the first bit which we use to get the noise removal. Now to do that, you just highlight it and then backspace. It's just simple. And after that, you want to head up to File, Export Audio, put it on wherever you want to put it. Now if you're on a Mac, then you need to put it in AIFF for the best kind of quality. Or if you're on Windows, you put it in WAV. Just be aware, if you're on Windows trying to com trying to format it to Apple, or if you're on Apple trying to format it to WAV, then it's going to take a little bit longer than it would usually. So you just want to export it like that. Just click OK. And you're done. That's literally it. 
Simple as that. Literally as simple as that. You have your edited footage. Go have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. Thank you.